Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x plus 1 whole to the power 6 is equal to x minus 1 whole to the power 6. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. First we move this x minus 1 whole to the power 6 to the left hand side. Then this will become x plus 1 whole to the power 6 minus x minus 1 whole to the power 6 is equal to 0. This x plus 1 whole to the power 6 can be written as x plus 1 whole cubed and whole to the power 2 minus this x minus 1 whole to the power 6 can be written as x minus 1 whole cubed and whole to the power 2 is equal to 0. Now we have a difference of 2 cubes so by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This expression will become x plus 1 whole cubed plus x minus 1 whole cubed times x plus 1 whole cubed minus x minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x plus 1 whole cubed plus uh, x minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 0 or this expression x plus 1 whole cubed minus x minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 0. It means that uh, we have two cases this is case number 1 and this is case number 2. First we solve case 1. In case 1, we have this expression x plus 1 whole cubed plus x minus 1 whole cube is equal to 0. Now to expand these two expressions, we use two algebraic identities. First one is a plus b whole cube is equal to a cubed plus 3 times a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. And the second is a minus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed minus 3 times a squared b plus 3ab squared minus b cubed. By using this algebraic identity, this uh, x plus 1 whole cubed will become x cubed plus uh, 3 times x squared plus uh, 3 times x plus uh, 1. Plus, uh, by using this algebraic identity, this uh, x minus 1 whole cubed will become x cubed minus 3 times x squared plus uh, 3 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this negative 1 will be cancelled out with this positive 1 and this negative 3x squared will be cancelled out with this positive 3x squared and this x cubed plus x cubed will become 2x cubed and this 3x plus 3x will become plus 6 times x is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out uh, 2 times x. In bracket left, uh, x squared plus uh, 3 is equal to 0. And from here, either this expression 2 times x is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus uh, 3 is equal to 0. From this equation, if we divide both sides by 2, this implies that uh, 
x is equal to 0. This is the first value of x. This is the first solution of this equation. From this equation, we move this 3 to the right hand side. Then this will become x squared is equal to negative 3. And from here, we take square root of both sides. So this square will be cancelled out with the square root and we are left with x is equal to plus or minus root negative 3 and x will be equal to plus or minus this root negative 3 can be written as root negative 1 times root 3 and x will be equal to plus or minus root negative 1 will become i times root 3. This is the second and third value of x. So for now from this case we get three solutions. To find other solutions we solve the second case. In the second case we have this expression x plus 1 whole cubed minus x minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 0. In case number 2, we have the expression x plus 1 whole cubed minus x minus 1 whole cube is equal to 0. To expand these two expressions, uh, we use uh, two algebraic identity. The first one is uh, a plus uh, b whole cubed is equal to a cubed plus uh, 3 times uh, a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. The second one is a minus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared minus b cubed. By using this algebraic identity, this x plus 1 whole cubed will become x cubed plus 3 times x squared plus 3 times x plus 1 minus by using this algebraic identity this x minus 1 whole cubed will become x cubed minus 3 times x squared plus 3 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we remove brackets, this will become x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3 times x plus 1. Due to this negative sign, this x cubed will become negative x cubed. Negative 3x squared will become positive 3x squared. And plus 3x will become negative 3x. This negative 1 will become plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this negative 3x will be cancelled out with this positive 3x and this negative x cubed will be cancelled out with this positive x cubed. And this 3x squared plus 3x squared will become 6 times x squared. And this one plus this one will become plus 2 is equal to 0. And we move this 2 to the right hand side this will become 6x squared is equal to negative 2 divide both sides by 6 we divide both sides by 6 so this 6 will be cancelled out and we are left with x squared is equal to negative 2 over 6 will become negative 1 over 3 and from here we take square root of both sides so this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we are left with x is equal to plus or minus. This uh, root negative 1 over 3 can be written as uh, root negative 1 times uh, root 1 over 3. Next, x is equal to plus or minus. This uh, root negative 1 will become 
i and this is root 1 over 3 will become 1 over root 3. To rationalize the denominator, we multiply and divide by root 3. So this will become x is equal to plus or minus i times 1 times root 3 will become root 3 divided by root 3 times root 3 will become 3. This is the fourth and fifth solution of this equation. First we found that x 2 and 3 is equal to and x 1 is equal to x1 is equal to 0 and x2 and 3 is equal to plus minus i times root 3. x1 is equal to 0 and x2 and 3 is equal to plus or minus i times root 3. So, we have 5 solutions for this equation. 0 plus minus i times root 3 and plus minus i times root 3 over 3.